Hey guys, just wanted to review relay options with you today for your one gauge setup. This basically allows you to control different electronics, have different things turn on and off automatically, and makes it really easy to be able to uh, manually or automatically control different electronics in your vehicle. So um, I have different relays available, so you can choose 10 amp or 30 amp, and then um, really the number of relays you can add is, is basically unlimited. Typically I do two, four, eight relays, but I've had people do 16 or more as well. So to get to your relay screen, you're going to touch in the upper right hand corner. Um, each of these buttons is going to control a different relay, um, turns on the, the relays on and off. Um, these are just standard on off relays. I also have momentary relays so that if you wanted to control the starter <coughs> or another accessory that way, it's something that you could do as well. Um, if you want to set up your relays to come on automatically, say with the sensor, sensor reading, you're going to go to this triggers button right here. This is going to allow you to set up um, some of your automatic triggers. So first you're going to select which relay you want to come on or off. In this case we're going to do number two since number one is a momentary relay already. Um, let's choose a sensor right now. It's set on manual, but let's say we want um, that relay to come on whenever AFR reaches a certain number. So you're going to select your AFR and then let's say because AFR is bump, jumping up and down in this setup right now, let's do 15 and we'll be able to see it turn on and off. So I'm going to save it and then you can see now at times when just the static in the air right now is causing um, some varied readings and you can see that relay clicking on and off uh, whenever AFR goes over 15. So if you wanted to turn that off again, the way to do that would just be to go back to your screen, navigate to manual, and then save it. <clears throat> and now that's again manual mode. So if we do, let's say we do want to turn on you know, coolant temp if it's over 15, which right now it's at 32, so it's going to stay on. If we go back here, we can see that this is showing that our relay is on. We can try to turn it off, but since it's it's on automatic, it's just going to click right back on. So to wire up your relays, uh, it's a bit hard to see here. Each of these relays is labeled. Um, basically, the, the way these relay works is really simple. You've got a COM port, which is for the voltage input, and then you've got an NO, which is normally open, and an NC, which is normally closed. So when the relay is off, the COM and the NC terminals are going to be connected. So COM and normally closed. That means the switch is normally closed. But as soon as the relay is triggered or turns on, like this first relay right here, then now there's voltage flowing between the COM and the NO ports instead of the NA, sorry, the NC. So basically, um, relay off, the voltage is moving between, the connection is made between COM and NC, and when the relay is on, the connection is made between COM and NO. So that would allow you to plug up something, say you wanted um, something to be triggered on, maybe some kind of alarm system or something whenever the relay is actually off. Um, so it would kind of have an opposite relationship. Typically what you're going to do is you're going to connect um, your power or ground wire to COM7 to COM and then you're going to connect the other end of your accessory wire to the NO. That way whenever the relay is open um, that connection will be made. So if you have any questions about how to wire up your relays I'm always happy to help. Just reach out to me, info at the onegage.com. Thanks.